bust her in her shit, Mo. Bust her in her shit, Mo. Just pushing me more and more towards her. I'm like, all right, bro, dang. All right. You know when people pushing you, you about to fight, they want you to hurry up and fight. She like, he like bust her in her shit or I'm busting you in yours. Huh? Not going to happen. Mow. I hit hard bars. You can't tell me nothing. Spit fire, burn the shit like a fucking toaster. Your main bitch want to pull me closer. What's good, Mo Mafia? It's your girl, Mo. And y'all, today, I'm back with another banger. Now, y'all, today, I'm going to be telling y'all about a, a little story time about when I fought again. I fought a lot as a kid, now that I realize. I really didn't fight as I got older, but as a kid, I fought a lot. Y'all, today, as y'all can tell by the title, I got me some Subway. Now, let me just tell y'all a quick little story about this. I just pre-recorded, like, I just recorded, like, five minutes of a video. Get a bite of that. It's just not what I wanted. I don't know why I got this. You feel me? Well, damn. Oh, that's train. I just pre-recorded five minutes of this video to taste my sandwich. And it was fucking disgusting. Like the guacamole on it tasted. It was nasty, y'all. So I went back and I got me a free turkey sub without all that extra stuff on it. It got me, you know what I'm saying? Italian herb and cheese bread, you feel me? Toasted turkey, spinach, cheese, mayo, oil tomatoes all that goodness right all right so before we eat right quick we're gonna say the prayer god is good god is great and we thank him for this food we gonna thank him in the morning noon and night because god 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 is dynamite i meant i meant game I know y'all can hear that train, but I'm outside. I know y'all can see it behind me too. But we gonna taste this. Let's open the chips. Miss Vicky, salt and vinegar. Y'all know how I feel about my Miss Vicky's. Let's attack. Let's let's take a bite. Y'all take a bite first. Mm hmm Take take a bite now. Let me get a young thumbnail in right quick. I think the train almost done, y'all. There we go. Train over with, y'all. Well, let's taste this sandwich so we can get into the story. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I was looking for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna be mad. Alright, so y'all one day have y'all striver had a hole in it and it irritates you when you try to drink? All right, so y'all, once upon a time, look at that. So, I was staying, I was about, how old, maybe like 11. Was I in middle school when this happened? Yeah. So I had to be like maybe 14. No, that's high school. 11 or 12 or 13, some something in that area. And my brother, who at the time was transgender, a very long story. I, yes, I said at the time, because I'm not ashamed of nothing that goes on in my family, but just know my family is crazy.
That's what I'm good. So, my brother, who was transgender at the time, living as a transgender woman, and my cousin, who was a girl, was on the bus, right? And I guess when they got on the bus, like, okay, my cousin, she used to wear this big gold fro. And like, you know how back in the day, when you have it on style, it really wasn't accepted as it is now. Like, you can swag something out and people be like, damn, that's kind of dope now. But back then, if you wasn't walking around looking like everybody else, you was a weird Oh. So I guess they had got on the bus one day and this girl on the bus was like, Jill Scott, Jill Scott, yelling it at my cousin. So, you know, my cousin, she, she don't mess with nobody. She real quiet at this time. She was real shy. She grew out of that now. She a whole different other person now. But, you know, she real quiet. You know what I'm saying? Kind of kind of uh, real, what's the word I'm looking for? She like real, at the time she was real shy. I'm going to just say that. Hmm. Mm hmm I love that. So when she got on the bus and the girl starts screaming Jill Scott about her fro, you know, you know, my my brother, well my sister at the time, which is my brother now. That's why I'm so confusing. Just know. My brother was born a boy. He was transitioning into a woman at the time. He was no longer transitioning. He's no longer transitioning into a woman. He's being a man now. Okay? Just to clear that up. So... Anyway... They get on the bus, the girl yelling her fro, Jill Scott, Jill Scott. And my, 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 I'm going to say my brother, because that's what he is now. My brother was like, you got my cousin fucked up, bitch. You, you can chill out. You know what I'm saying? They get to arguing with the girl. It was like, why are you talking shit to people? They walk on the bus. You just decided to talk shit, like start something. So I guess they get into it with the girl real bad. She talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, now my brother, he knowing like, okay, I'm not a real woman. I can't fight the bitch. Plus we don't know how old she is. And my cousin, I'm not going to say she ain't a fighter cause she is, but she was obviously grown too. Like they both was grown. I'm like maybe 13, 12, 13. So all I know is I'm sleep. This is what, this is what they told me happened before they came and got me. So they come wake me up like, Momo, get up. We didn't get up. No! You got chips in your room. I, this is my only bag of chips. No. The fuck? I know you don't because you wasn't getting none. And you interrupted my mukbang. Annoying. Okay, they come get me. Wake up, Mo. Wake up. On the real. We finna have you whoop this girl ass. I'm like, what girl? Why? What happened? They just basically told me, like, get up. We don't want you. Don't ask no questions. You finna come whoop her ass. So they run in the house. They they tell my they telling my other brother this. Hmm. So so my other brother's like, come on, get up. You finna go whoop her ass like they said. Woo -woo -woo. So my brother and my cousin, they leave and go back around the corner. My other brother's still at the house with me. I'm half asleep. I'm like, why are you wake somebody up from a nap? Talking about, you gotta come fight somebody. 
Some people are like, what, you scared? I want to know. I ain't scared of nobody. I ain't scared of nobody. What you mean? So, they're like, let's go. I'm like, dude, I can't find my shoes. Now, y'all, I wasn't scared and I wasn't just making up excuses. I really couldn't find my shoes. So, um, he like, throw on my shoes. You don't need your shoes. Throw on my shoes. Y'all, tell me why my brother has some Tim's. I never forget some big ass Timberland boots, y'all. So I slide my little feet in them. I'm clucking down the street. Complaint, complaint, street, complaint, complaint. Complaint, complaint. Complaint, complaint. I come around the corner. All I hear, like from a distance, I hear the girl talking hella shit. She just talking. Y'all can go get anybody. I ain't worried about nobody. I'll whoop any bitch. Just going off at the mouth, right? So in my head, I'm like, oh, she's a tough one. While I'm walking around the car. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You talking tall shit. Mm hmm. Or whatever. Y'all. Tell me why I get around the car. Now, like, I was coming around a school building. So I'm hearing her, like, around the corner just talking shit. Like, you know, like how a corner is. I'm walking up the street. She's around the corner right here. So when I bend the corner, I guess all she heard was the boots. So she looking at the booth, she look up at me, her mouth dropped like. Now y'all, at this time I was not, I was not big, bro. Like I was a kid. Like I wasn't this big. I was short and stocky, like cock, like buff. Of course I had a little weight on me, I was chubby. You feel me? But the way her face looked when I came around that corner, like, this who y'all wouldn't got for me to fight? Now, this, the crazy thing is, she was not skinny. She was like one of them thick, husky females, like, thick with it. Big butt, big everything, just thick with it. Now, I come around the corner, I'm looking, I look, she looking at me, I'm looking at her, I'm like, what's that shit you was talking to my brother and my cousin, bitch? I kid y'all not. She said, I just had a baby. I just had a baby. I ain't trying to fight. I just had a baby. Y'all, when I tell y'all this was the, like, thinking back and remembering, that was the funniest shit I ever seen in my life. Like, her whole persona changed, folks. I'm like, so you was talking shit to my brother and my cousin? She looking at me like, I just had a baby. I just had a baby. My baby ain't even a month yet. My baby ain't even a month. I'm like, bitch, what that got to do with you talking shit? So at this time, I'm I'm feeling a little up because I'm noticing like she kind of scared. Got a little grease. That's all right. But I'm noticing she, she kind of hoeing up a little bit. So she like, I'm not finna fight. Let me call my let me call my cousins. Talking to some people that live across the street from where we at. She like, let me call my um cousins. Let me call my cousins. Let me. Can I use your phone? I'm like, no. What up, bitch? My brother, not the one that was getting talked shit to. My other brother. He behind me pushing me like, bust her in her shit, Mo. Bust her in her shit, Mo. Bust her in her shit, Mo. Just pushing me more and more towards. I'm like, all right, bro, dang. All right. You know when people pushing you, you about to fight, they want you to hurry up and fight. She like, he like, bust her in her shit or I'm busting you in yours. Huh? Not going to happen. Mow. I, folks, y'all, when I say I hit this girl so hard, I just fought her. Mow. She was like. It was like slow motion, like in a movie. She just was like, boom, hit the ground. She was like, I'm, I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. My brother like, bitch, you grown. My sister, 12. Yup, I was 12. Wait, no, I was 11. One of them ages, I don't know. He like, bitch, I'm, uh, bitch, you grown. My sister, 12. My sister, 12. Just knock your shit. You soft as hell. She like, I just had a baby. I just had a baby. I swear to God, I just had a baby. Just going off. I'm looking at her like, what do they got to do with you talking shit on the bus? You even took it upon yourself to get off where they got off to continue talking shit. 
They came all the way home and got me. Y'all. When I tell you this shit was so crazy. Y'all. So. I, I fire in the jaw. You get to talking shit about who she going to call and all this other shit. Long story short, she never called nobody. She got back on the bus and went home. Never seen her again. So when I get home, I walk through the door. And my mom was like, where the hell y'all coming from? I, they just made me fight. I'm gone, girl. My mom said, y'all had my motherfucking daughter around the corner fighting. Who won? Really, Ma? Who won? Who it looked like won? Do I got a scar? But yeah, y'all, that was pretty much it. Like, thinking back on it, it was funny, though, because, like, the way her whole, like, vibe switched up when I walked around that corner. All she could think about is her ha just having a baby. She probably was lying like a motherfucker. Didn't just have no baby. She probably just seen me and knew she was finna get that ass whooped. No cap. No, I think... I've told y'all about every fight I've ever had. Mm. Mm, I didn't. But yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. I hit that girl one time. One. But she shouldn't have been talking shit to my brother and my cousin. Like, they ain't gonna fight you. But they gonna come get me. And I ain't nothing nice. Period. No mafia. I got another half a sandwich. Who won it? I'm gonna wrap it up. Probably eat it later. Wrap that up, say that for later. Alright. No mafia. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping bangers. We going up. I go back home next week to visit my family. I'm going to see my babies. I can't wait. Um, I'm going to leave my cash app below. If you want to donate to me going home and just, you know, send me a little blessing so I'm straight while I'm there. Y'all know how that go, because this trip really pretty much broke me. And then on top of that, I still have to pay my rent, because my landlord is not finna play. Period. But, it's all good in the hood, y'all. Any Anything helps, any blessing is appreciated. I just can't wait to see my family. My mama. And do videos with her. All right, and Mo Mafia, tomorrow is the um, Talent Showcase Thursday. And I need for everybody who won last week to report to the live at 5 o'clock. And that's uh, Arizona time. So if you're an hour ahead, two hours ahead, you know, your time is that whatever that would be six or seven o'clock or an hour behind or before. And everybody who looking to take over their spot to uh, jump over them and take their spot, you need to be there too. Because at the end of the talent show, three winners, dancing and rapping, $50 a piece. And it's lit. All right. So, my mafia, 
we finna get lit because we the shit gang. <laughs>